What is up YouTube land? This is Chris Catalunya, and I'm pretty excited because today I was able to cup not one, but two pairs of Adidas' collaboration with Neighborhood, and I got the NMD R1s. If you didn't know already, Adidas and Neighborhood, they released four shoes today. So it was this one, the Chop Shops, the i5923s, and the Gazelle Supers. And they were all going for about the same price of about $200. Again, retail on these are about $200. If you're trying to resell them, looking on StockX.com, they're running for about $310 to about $330. Now we all know that NMDs aren't really doing well in the resale market, especially since you have like Pharrell's shoe line and then you have the Ultra Boost that are doing so well. NMDs, they're just not getting the love they used to get. But it also doesn't help that Adidas keeps releasing different variations of this same model. Let's talk about Neighborhood for a little bit. Now, Neighborhood is a brand that was founded in 1994 in Japan. It's headquartered in Tokyo. Neighborhood is a streetwear brand that's along the lines of bait. Taking a look at the shoe, the upper is made out of fabric and it's actually stitched going all the way up and it's stitched in white, so it's very noticeable. And along the side, you'll see the teeth marks that Neighborhood is famous for. This is definitely a signature. The heel block is actually very plain, but looking at the front block, you'll see Neighborhood's acronym, MBHD, and you'll actually see these characters, and this stands for Far East if we translate it. And the pronunciation for Far East is Kyokuto. The lacing features of the NMD features this black suede-like material. I'm not sure if it's real suede, but it's a suede-like material, and the lacing up front, You'll see on the tongue, which is stitched together, Adidas and Neighborhood branding. On the strap reaching towards the heel, it actually has Neighborhood's logo spelled out in full. And when you go to the back tab, it says NBHD on the left shoe. On the right shoe, it says BRGD, which stands for Brigade. So Neighborhood Brigade. The midsole, like other NMDs, are featured in Boost material. The sole features that classic waffle design in which you can see the Boost on the sole. Now, I can't take out the insole of these shoes. They're actually glued down pretty well, but it features more branding stating the Adidas logo and the neighborhood spelled in full logo. Now, if you've never worn NMDs, Ultra Boost, or Yeezys, whatever size you typically get in a Nike or any other shoe, you would typically go down half a size, especially since these shoes wear like socks. They're very uh, uh, closed in feeling. They conform to your foot. So normally I wear a size nine in anything else. When I get these, I usually get an eight and a half and it works out. So what do you think about these shoes? Are they a cop? Are they a drop? Are NMDs dead? Let me know down in the comments below. Click that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and hit that subscribe button so you will be notified of other future videos that I do. And we'll check you another time. Cheers. I would.